Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Minecraft survival experience video. I am Nexter, and this is Nextcraft, and today uh, we're gonna move right the way along with our uh, our goals of getting some frog lights. And what we need to do is uh, get some frogs. So <laughs> we're gonna go uh, way, 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 way out because even though I trimmed the Minecraft survival experience world down and made sure that we could get some uh, some actual generation of the, the area that we want, that is a mangrove swamp, um, not necessarily sp uh, specifically because we could also get frogs from regular swamps there's still not even a proper swamp until literally 7,000 blocks away. So I might as well go to the mangrove swamp, which is also about 7,000 blocks away. And we're going to do that today. Um, I made some changes to the world since last episode. I moved the mega beacon over there from there. And I also, I don't know if you can tell, but I created this big mound here. It's sort of a beginning to our terraforming efforts. And although we're not going to really describe uh, how I put that together today, I just wanted you to kind of see it, and I kind of wanted to show off the work because I think it actually looks pretty good. We're going to add some more of these implements around the the area here, sort of, I don't know, just different places where, you know, it, it could look good. Um, and I really did that uh, that particular mound there so that I could conceal this very special build that I did off camera as well. Nothing really spectacular in terms of... Of, of building concepts or anything, but I do think it looks really cool. So this is what we've done with the nether portal room. It was really bothering me that it was just sort of um, just sort of stuck there in, <laughs> you know, in a between stage or something. So we've got like the geode thing going on here. I think it works really well right next to the enchanting setup. Anyway, no time to waste. Meet me down in the storage facility and let's get some things together for today's adventure. Here we are down in the storage facility. What we're gonna need for our adventure today is uh, two shulker boxes. One I've got some supplies in, and uh, the other is just one that's that's ready to go. This isn't completely necessary, but uh, it will be. We're gonna have one of these completely filled up with tadpoles, so that's what all the buckets are for. The leads we're gonna use potentially to uh, strap up a bunch of frogs. We need the slime balls to breed the frogs, and we need some fence posts to put the leads on, which are connected to the frogs. We may or may not need those. Um, we'll, we'll see when we get out there. I've never done these mechanics before. I just sort of know how they work. But as far as the most important stuff, totally buckets. We, we definitely need buckets and, and somewhere to put all the tadpoles that you want to bring back. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that in the form of a shulker box. You can just put them in your regular inventory or in your chest or whatever is most convenient for you. Let's run back up here and let me get my notes. Um, so the coordinate that we're going to is so so there was a swamp that was pretty near the mangrove swamp as far as a large swamp and these are the biomes where frogs can spawn naturally in the game we i think it's off in this direction i'm not actually sure let me pull up the coordinates here as you see uh we're very close to spawn and we're going to negative 380 or wait 3862 x negative 7120 y so it looks like uh, sort of off in this direction, but actually off more in that direction. So we're just going to uh, take to our <laughs> elytra here. I hope you've got a lot of rockets because uh, it's a little bit of a journey. Check out chunkbase.com if you don't know right where you are going to go. That's what I did. <laughs> it's a little cheaty, but not too bad. I'll see you when we get there. We have arrived where we're going, and you're probably wondering why... Uh, why we're in this little village house here here are the coordinates so we have come quite a quite a bit from spawn it's actually it was only about a five minute ride on elytra so it wasn't too bad yeah we we were probably here um i don't know do we need a bed do we need to maybe grab something uh maybe out of his chest uh i don't know let's check in here and see what's going on let's see maybe some apples some bread i don't know this stuff is always good right Maybe we would collect this stuff, but no, no, no. This stuff right here is not the reason why we're here. The reason why I wanted to conceal it from you is because it's so magnificent. First of all, whoops, that's not my zoom button. Right over there is the mangrove swamp, which we'll check out in just a second. We're in a village, but look at this massive generation, uh, the, like caves and cliffs style amplified mega uh, thing over here. This is just the coolest looking thing. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to call this the mangrove village from, from now on. Let's just take a quick little zip around here so you can check it out. It's kind of flat on the back, but I still think it looks really cool. I love seeing the natural world generation look like this. I think it just looks spectacular. Um, 
I'm definitely going to be marking this village as something that we can come back to. Maybe we'll do a project on it or something like this, just because I think that this would be such a killer backdrop. And, you know, we want access to the mangrove swamp. And that, of course, is why we're here today. You see a little bit kind of kind of uh, speckled around here, not, not just the, the main area. So here is the new mangrove swamp. This is um, a really cool place. It's very dense. Um, hanging vines, obviously, the, the new trees uh, look very cool. Uh, it, it's very swampy, for sure. And uh, the mangrove swamp is considered a, a warm biome. So we're going to get a very special kind of frog that's, that's going to generate in here. It's the white frog. It's going to be a little difficult to find them, um, especially two of them. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too bad. Let's actually walk down through here. I think that's the best way to sort of get a feel for this new biome. Might as well explore it a bit uh, while we're here together. I have never seen this before. So uh, other than in the, the videos, you know, online and uh, what, what Minecraft told us about during Minecraft Live. You see this rooted stuff here, this, this, like these roots, uh, they, they kind of grow down into the mud, which is this gray block that we're standing on. And um, as you see over there, uh, since it's a warm biome, it's going to be some, some tropical fish generating, uh, which I think is really cool, gives, gives a little life to this place. And uh, I keep hearing things breaking around me, and I, I don't know what it actually is. Uh, something about the, the area mechanically that, that I, I don't know about yet. But anyway, we'll take a look at the blocks maybe while we're waiting for for the frogs to start uh, breeding up. But let's um, let's see if we can find a little pool. We, we need a pool for, for them first. And I think, yes, there's a frog. Oh, and there's two frogs. Look, one there, one there. So what we need to do is get these guys down to a pool, and then we will start breeding them. They walk really slowly, but let me just try to clear some of this, um, some of this grass out from around them so you can really check out the model. They, they're definitely jumpers, too. Um, these guys just look great. Minecraft has been doing just exceptionally well with the 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 mob design, the the way that the mobs sort of work, the AI. They're more intelligent and they're more lifelike. I think they they look really cool. Obviously, we're playing in a block game, so it's going to be limited to blocks. But I still think that this is just a super cute, super cool addition to the game. And uh, I'll shut up here in a second so you can actually hear their croaking it's a pretty good sound indeed it's very um it's perfect um so what we got to do let me just eat up a little bit of food here grab some slime balls and these mobs should start to pathfind to the player just as I any other mob would if you're holding something that they're interested in like cows with wheat um so what we need to do i I may actually put it, put him on a lead because these guys do walk really slowly and I need to actually get this guy stationary um, and know that we can come back to him and then go and find another one. Uh, I don't know where that other one ran off to. Um, yeah, very slow indeed. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, let's bust out our supplies that we, that we uh, took with us from the compound. I'll go ahead and grab these buckets and... Then we are going to, well, actually, I need to grab the fence post, too. We're just going to get all this stuff out of here. Might as well. And then we'll be able to attach this frog with the lead to the fence post, and we can go on uh, on search for the other one. Come here, buddy. You're coming with me, just temporarily. We'll leave these guys alone after we get done with the, with the breeding. But for now, I hope he won't mind, uh, because he is indeed the, the star of the show. So long as you don't get too far away from the frog. Oh, there, there we go. Perfect. There's actually another one down there. Great. So we've got three that we can work with and potentially find uh, a fourth one. I think that, that other one that ran off, that's the one that I'll go ahead and search for. Uh, but yeah, just don't, don't uh, get too far away from, from the, the frog. And it doesn't appear that you need to be worried too much about fall damage because these guys, I mean, they're jumping around like seven blocks in the air, so shouldn't be a problem at all let me clear out some of this grass here and we'll use this sort of as our our little temporary frog hatchery and uh we're gonna go for like i said a, a full a full shulker box of tadpoles uh, so that should give us enough to breed what we need um or excuse me not breed but let them grow up in the various biomes uh to get the different colors there are three uh, three colors of frogs and uh, the white ones, as you see, they, they grow up uh, 
from tadpoles in these warm environments to become white. And if we go to a cold biome, we will get a green frog. And if we go to a temperate biome like a forest or plains or something like that, we will get an orange frog. And those will all yield uh, different color frog lights, which is the whole mission that we're on here. So let me grab some buckets before the sun goes down. And I'm just going to store these in here because my inventory is going to get completely filled up. But we'll, we'll get all the buckets of water first, so we don't have to worry about that uh, when we're actually picking up the tadpoles because they're, they're, they're kind of spritey. They kind of run around, and um, they could potentially be hard to catch. I don't think it'll be too bad. Let me see if I can... You know, not, not quite... Can't sleep yet. Um, it won't be too bad if they go to that little pool over there by the tree, but if they go out here in this area, then it's going to be potentially a little problematic trying to find our little tadpoles. All right, good morning. Uh, there's a squid over there, too. <laughs> I don't think we're going to mess with him today, though. Um, all right, so now we've got our two white frogs. We've got our buckets of water. I'm going to continue clearing out just a little bit of this grass. I don't, I don't know why I'm thinking I need to do that. I probably don't. I think it's more for... Uh, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> I want you to be able to see these guys and their behavior when we actually start breeding them up with the with the slime balls so i'm just going to clear out a little bit of that so we've got a couple of pools here where once we give the slime balls to these frogs they'll actually pathfind over to water at least one of them will and they'll plant or plant they'll they'll deposit <laughs> i guess uh, some uh, frog spawn which looks like well you'll see here in just a second so we've given them the slime balls they look like they're interested in getting together they're, they're gonna flex their bills at each other for a moment <laughs> Okay, so let's see which one is actually going to make the move to the water. And it, it does it does look like... Okay, is it this one here? I'm not sure. Maybe it's the one... Is it? Okay, there we go. So it's this guy. So here's the frog spawn. And in a moment, the frog spawn will actually hatch tadpoles. And it could be anywhere from... I don't know if it's one to five or two to five. So you could potentially get a lot of of tadpoles just from breeding one uh, one pair of these frogs. So I'm going to connect these guys back onto the post there, and we're just going to hang out for a second. Let me refill my water buckets, and then uh, I will just sort of camp out and wait for the frog spawn to turn into tadpoles, and then uh, we'll see what we got to do next. All right, there we go. <laughs> we got some tadpoles. We just got two that time, but look at these guys. Little bug eyes. <laughs> All right, so the, the frogs are jumping around, very excited at their at their little little offspring buddies here. Offspring buddies? <laughs> their offspring? Anyway, so you got to have a full bucket of water, and then you can capture them in a bucket. And look at that. We got the bucket bucket achievement. And now we can throw our tadpoles here and begin our collection. We just have two so far. Uh, let's see. This is definitely great that we were able to get the frogs to drop the tadpoles off in that small pool. Very easy to catch them. Actually, I, I tried doing this in this larger water, and it, it works fine, actually. Once you get underwater, you can see the tadpoles just fine. So it's really no, it's no problem. I think it's time to breed these guys up again. I don't actually know if they'll if they're if they'll do their business uh, while they're attached to the leads. I don't know if they'll actually go to the water. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like they will. I think that we got to take the lead take the frogs off the leads in order for them to actually go and deposit the the frog spawn into the water. So I hope I didn't foul things up by by putting them on there in the first place. It looks like he's trying to get over there, though, so... I see. Okay, great. Killer. So, <laughs> we're on the right track. So, what we need to do now is just breed up a ton of these. Now, I, um, I'm i going to go on a quick search for uh, a fourth frog that we can use so that we have two breeding pairs. And at that point, we'll, we'll kind of be... We'll kind of be working with grease because we'll be able to do twice as much and we could potentially get ten from... From, uh, 10 tadpoles from just two 
uh, from just two uh, breeding sessions. I don't know how to refer to this stuff uh, with, without being vulgar <laughs> in particular. All right, so we're going to go down here and look for another frog. A little bit difficult in this dense mangrove forest here, but look at that. There, That was actually not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Come back here, you. So we're going to attach a lead to this guy and carefully walk through the, the mangrove swamp forest here. And... I like how they, they will kind of catch up to you if you start moving a little too fast. <laughs> he, knows, he knows what's up. You're coming this way. I th I've got for you somebody uh, you might want to hang out with. <laughs> All right, coming around here. Almost there, almost there. And now we should be able to do twice as much or do it in half the time or, or do twice as much in the normal amount of time. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just using words. All right, let's break the leads again and grab our our, uh, our slime balls. And I think I might not be able to get. Yeah, the, these other guys aren't ready. They've already they've already done their their duty. So let's see where this one gets. It looks like it's going to be right perfect. So now we've got we're going to have two sets of tadpoles spawning in this little pool here, and we're just going to hang out. And I'll see you when we have some more tadpoles. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Buddy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into this frog. Hey, you need to calm down. Okay, I think we have pretty much all of the the tadpoles that we're going to collect. We got a full shulker box. That means we can use um, we can use three. Well, we can use one, one. Excuse me. Let me just start all of that over again. <laughs> we can have nine of each color in our uh, in our farm once we take all of these frogs that we will begin to actually let grow up in the different biomes in the next episode. That's going to be uh, what we're going to do in the next one. So. Let me go ahead and pick up the bed. Leave no trace, right? Let me go ahead and take down this this little stump here. Uh, stump. It's a fence post. I know what it is. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, thank you, sir, ma'am. Well, thank you for uh, for letting me hang out today. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll just let these frogs continue on with their life and enjoy it. Uh, let's go in here to the... Um, Let's go in here to the, the mangrove swamp area just real quick. We're going to actually take a, a deeper dive into the blocks that are available. And uh, in particular, the, the, the new mud blocks are super cool. I know you were thinking, like, like mud? Why is that cool? <laughs> I'll show you why later in, uh, in a, a couple episodes, maybe. Anyway, you can use your axe to break down these roots. And that will, of course, give you that, that new root block, which is super neat that could be used for all sorts of things in what we're trying to do back at the compound with terraforming look at these two new mud blocks you've got basically the rooted ones where the mangrove tree has grown down into the mud and then obviously the mud and we'll look at like i said how to actually how to actually get these in a, in a more or less renewable way uh, but we'll go ahead and collect one or two for for right now just you know just to have them maybe we can use them to start augmenting the storage system so we can actually start to have all these new 119 blocks in there. We don't have to actually organize those by hand. And uh, I think we've done everything except... Oh, no, 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 no. We've got to go get... Um, okay, so if you look at the mangrove trees, these things right here are mangrove propagules. And that essentially is just like a sapling. And they grow in different stages, but I think all of these, they appear to be the full... The, the, the full thing. So basically, I can break, break break any of these off, but you'll see that as they grow again, they will, like, be... There, there's a, a one stage, a two stage, a three, and then the fourth where you can actually harvest them and use them uh, to plant uh, trees in the ground, which is cool. We definitely want to grab a bunch of these before we head back because that way we, we can actually do all of the... The mechanics and, and stuff with, with the new trees and the new the new blocks back at the compound. We don't have to come all the way back out here. Not to say we won't come all the way back out here because I have some ideas for for what we might do in this area. Definitely like a like a 
uh, well, a swampy build because we're getting the new raft blocks, the new uh, bamboo stuff in the next uh, expansion of the game. Uh, assumably. <laughs> but whatever the case, I think there's going to be some cool opportunities to build over here. So I'm just going to collect uh, a few of these. I say a handful. It'll probably be about a half stack by the time I get done. I can't resist getting a bunch just, just to have. Um, that's scary. And then the other thing that we need to do before we leave is to definitely set up a nether portal. And I believe I'm actually going to take the nether back to the compound. It's a little dangerous, but I'm feeling pretty confident. So let me collect just a few more uh, mangrove propagules, and then I'm going to head back to the village, and we're going to set up a nether portal. Going to take one more quick flyby past this awesome natural structure here that has generated, and head over to the mangrove village, and we're going to set up a nether portal, I think. Let's find like a somewhere kind of... Oh, this is actually perfect. Let's do it right here. It's a little bit outside of town. That, that This should be perfect. Let's grab our ender chest. It's always good. Uh, I'm sure you know this at this point, but carry around everything you can possibly imagine you may potentially need in your adventures, in your world, in your nether chest, in your nether, um, goodness gracious, in your ender chest. And that way you, you never have to go and, and start, you know, uh, a mine right in the middle of a project that you're doing when you're trying to get around. So we're just going to build up the, the basic one here real easy. I know I don't need the corners. I'm just sort of OCD that way. <laughs> I want to be able to uh, have the, the full square, especially since it's going to be out in the open. It's probably best to cover this thing up with some sort of fence or, or whatever, but I'm not really worried about these villagers at the moment because we're going to unload these chunks as soon as we leave. So let's uh, let's throw in all this stuff back into our chest. Let's grab, we're going to need a, a golden helmet. Of course, we have that in the equipment shulker box. And then it's pretty much time to uh, to to head back and get out of here. When we get back to the um, uh, to the overworld from traveling through the Nether, uh, we'll look at all of the cool the cool new loot that we got and kind of talk about what we're going to do in the next episode. Everything is safely stored in our Ender chest. Let's use a uh, Silk Touch pickaxe to break this thing down. And yeah, I think it's time to to say goodbye to this village for now but we will definitely be back in future for some sort of really cool project because just look at that backdrop. Just look at it. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, here we go. Gonna pop through and I will see you when we get home. Back, back, back indeed, back at the overworld and the compound. And goodness gracious, I'm really glad that I'm back. Uh, because I had a little bit of a close call in the nether, but that's okay. We were we were prepared enough. Let me just throw some of this stuff down here into the storage facility and let it sort its way out. Some of this stuff I'll have to do by hand. Definitely want to expand that. I'll probably do that in between episodes because we already know how to do that, and there's no point in, in wasting a video on that when you uh, are already a stinking pro. Let's go out here. Let me come and uh, and find kind of a, a nice little place, and we can do an outro. Let's, uh, let's see what we got Ooh, a little spider over there i don't think he's going to bother us it's daytime so that won't be a problem okay so we have of course the uh let's first grab out i think this stuff we have all of these tadpoles which we're going to use to to uh breed up our frogs we got an example of the the mud and the roots the brand new blocks and of course the the rooted rooted dirt rooted mud whatever um and we'll look at how all of those work and can potentially work together to create some really cool blocks and structures, kind of like like an adobe hut. It'll be really cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to, to sharing that with you. I think it's going to be a really great addition to the game. But that's it. That's how you breed frogs, folks. I thank you so, so much for joining me on today's adventure. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe for more. And don't forget to leave a comment if you got something to say. I have been Nexter. This has been Nextcraft. And always remember, it's a crazy world out there. So keep it crafty, my friends. And I'll catch you in the next one.